Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Monster Rancher Advance Part 2. This is the Johnny Cage and when we last left off we had our monster Ragnarok here. Let's brief look at how our stats was like. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, fight in, uh, in a tournament coming up. Uh, I'm not sure which one yet, haven't really decided. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of uh, attributes I really want to get up with this guy. As you can see that's the, uh, the power test. We've got five five power from the training there. Um, his big stats seem to be power, accuracy, and defense. So let's try some accuracy. Oh, and we have a failure in the accuracy. Just great. Just great. But that's really common. The first year that you have a monster, they'll, they'll falter in some stuff. And generally, I go back and forth. Like if they start to falter a lot, I'll actually scold them. But if they, you know, no, if they're not, then it's not a big deal. I'll let it slide. More of a, more of a kind-hearted trainer that way. Um, not to say I'm not going to put him through his paces, of course. Um, so here's our first look at feeding our monster. You have to feed your monster every month, and this is kind of shows off the economy in this game. You get money from fighting in battles. It's the only way you get money. And you have to spend that money on food every month, which goes in costs from 30 gold to 200 gold. You start with 5,000 gold, by the way. Um, and it just depends what they like and what's full of nutrients for them. Like nuts would be really good in this case. Um, nutrient by itself, which is just a pill, is normally really good. I don't remember that being so good in the PlayStation version, but for some reason every monster I've raised so far um, in the Game Boy version really likes nutrients, even if they have another one that they particularly like. Kind of expensive though, at a 180. But, you know, you'll be making the money back, so I, I've never had an issue with money in this game. Here's the accuracy test again, and oh, another failure. Just great. Just what we needed, Regorok. So that time I did scold it, because we messed up in the same training twice. Um, but I'm starting to think that probably don't want to do accuracy anymore. If it's not working out, uh, we'll just go... Oh, did speed. I don't know why I did speed there, but okay, we're doing speed. And we got three. You'll notice that the numbers are kind of small. Like that only increased by three. If there's something, if it's something that they started at, that's a high attribute. They'll get more. Um, but also along the same lines as the first year of having their monster, it will take a while for them to start to get into the prime of their life. And your little um, girl here, Aroma, I think her name is. Uh, she'll tell you. She'll leave you a message saying that this is an important time in your monster's life, and that pretty much means that. Your monster's in its prime, and it pretty much won't fail at any training you give it, and it will get um, as much as like 10 to 15 points in whatever you train them in for each training session, which is definitely when you're start, going to start to see yourself flying through battles, because here it's just training, eating, and you know hoping that you can get into a battle. Um, but it does take a while. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go recommend going into your first battle until... I, even a year, as much as a year <clears throat> after you start um, but, you know, it's up to you it also depends on what monster you have because if you have a really awesome monster that maybe um, is a combination of two previous monsters you have, which is something that we'll get into much later on, but you can freeze your monster once they're getting old um, well, there's a pit looking stats right now that he's got um, uh, once they're getting too old, then you can uh, freeze your monster and once you get two of them that are old, you freeze them, and then you combine them into one quote-unquote super monster um, who will have really good stats when he starts off. And that's pretty much the only way of beating the S rank on here. Uh, you can get up, you can get through A rank with an any given monster, pretty much. Um, it might be difficult for some more than others, but the way to beat S is that you've got to combine previous monsters and make a really awesome monster with awesome starting stats, or else they're gonna get too old. And when they reach a certain age, they uh, they really just cannot do anything at all. She'll your little trainer lady will tell you that she's been he's been really good to us, and we should retire them or make them a coach. Um, which is another thing you can make them a coach, and they'll coach something like this, like the scorpion guys coaching defense. It'll teach them to coach defense, and then the monster you train will do really good with defense. And here's something. Um, You'll often get mail of some sort. This is the most common thing you'll get in the mail. The training center is only a thousand gold, and to get to the training center, you go to the special on your on your menu, and you go there, and you can pick one attribute in particular to level up, and then you fight a teacher, um, and it will really level up that one skill. And you might learn a new fighting move from doing that as well. 
But right now, let's try to do our very first battle, the Sprout Cup. This battle symbolizes the budding growth. Many young monsters throw their young powers at each other every year. These battles between the youngsters are the fun part of monster battles. Sprout Cup, let's go! So, here's our first fight. Um, this one, sometimes we're round robin. This one's a bracket tier system. Um, so we've got the first fight up against the Jax. Um, before you start the fight, they'll ask you if you want to control your monster. Always say yes, otherwise it's just an auto battle, and there's no fun in that. You gotta look at the stats, kind of compare and contrast. Uh, we might be able to handle this. So, here's how the battle is set up. You'll see you have three moves depending on the distance from the enemy. Um, the number next to it indicates the amount of guts it takes to use that move, and that blue number going up um, is the amount of guts that you have. And the number below that is your percentage. Uh, which is your, based on your accuracy score. Um, since we're going to be primarily focused on uh, strength and defense, what we're going to do here is really we're going to be taking a lot of hits. We're not going to have a lot of speed. Speed counters accuracy, obviously. Um, oh, and when you see a monster falter like that and they get the question marks, that's a great time to strike because it really increases the percent chance that you'll hit them. You don't see that much later on, but early starting out, monsters, they have a hard time. Um, you know, accepting commands. So the fight rages on. Um, as oh, and I said, uh, we're going to be power and defense mostly. So all we got to do is get one good shot in eventually. And even though we'll be taking a lot of hits, I'll be really small, small amounts of damage. You can see here. What's the judging? Dun dun dun! Oh, he just barely beat us. So that's something. You have 60 seconds um, to to fight. Uh, most matches, especially in the beginning, depending on what kind of monster you raise, will end in a judge decision. Whoever has more HP will ultimately win. So we lost that. We won't be moving on, but we're going to go for the third place fight against the other guy that lost, Joral here. And we'll see if we can take him out. He's mostly power and intelligence. Intelligence is a strange attribute, and I don't use it very often. Um, pretty much it gives them a lot of moves that bring down the guts of your opponent. So if you were to hit them, it doesn't do a lot to their HP, but the amount of guts they have will drop significantly, like by 20. But that's a number that keeps on going up. So it's just kind of an annoyance. It pretty much means that you, you're constantly trying to prevent that monster from being able to attack. But it's not a very good strategy, if you ask me, and I really don't like going the intelligence route. So, but this guy's, geez, he's tiny. We've got about 37, 38% chance of hitting him. Just keep on missing. You know, those aren't... There's... Oh, there's a falter! Oh, and there's a hit! There you go! That's a perfect opportunity to strike right there. Oh, we dodged that one. So he's even got 64, and he's still missing a lot. Yes! There's another shot in right there. Oh, man, we might have this one. Yeah! Keep on fire punching! Keep on fire punching! There's a falter! And he goes to the fire punching! Oh, damn! We missed. Looks like we might have a slight edge as long as he misses this. Yes! Yes! All right, and time's up, and it looks like just based on where the bars are, we've got this one wrapped up. Bam, 90 to 82. We win our very first match in our trying to be the best monster rancher rancher there is. Um, and then here's when the computers fight. It just does that. It's kind of anticlimactic. Um, but we won a match at least. We got third cup, and we got third place. We got third cup. We got third place in the Sprout Cup. We didn't win anything because we didn't get first or second place. We got a Fame Meter, which is just for your own ego as a player. Um, there's not much to it. Just kind of go along with it. Um, it doesn't do anything. And then from battling, though, you get two attributes that increase. One increases a lot, one not so much. Here it was speed and defense. Um, and that's... And then, you know, I always give them a... Give them a, yeah, you did a great job. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, for this time around, um, we're gonna feed him some oranges because he likes those and they're pretty cheap. Um, and we're gonna just keep on training and we're gonna get ready for our next battle. And then hopefully we're gonna battle for um, the um, the rank up, which happens in February there, as you can see. And if you win that, then we'll be a C rank rather than a D rank monster. And that will just be awesome. And we'll get more money and we'll fight harder matches. And that's what we have to look forward to. We'll see you next time on Monster Rancher 3. Or, you know.